uh, th there's a number of ways you could approach that, but abortion and infanticide, and how do they relate and they overlap? Well, first of all, um, if we're thinking clearly, uh, then uh, all uh, abortion is infanticide. So, so they, you, you can call it a subset or whatever you want to call it, but it, it all abortion is infanticide. Now, not all infanticide is abortion. So, the child is now born, and then a decision is made to take the life of this child. And it is murder. And if it's deliberate and premeditated, it is first degree murder. And pretty much everyone agrees on that. Right? So, you read the accounts in the newspaper, infanticide, somebody kills, a one, whether it's the father, the mother, or any other human being, they deliberately kill a child who is born, even if they were born yesterday or three hours ago. Um, so we all agree it's infanticide. Even pro-choice people agree that it is. But the same child, just a little bit earlier, could be killed by abortion up until, you know, third trimester abortion and under Roe v. Wade. There's certain stipulations that are in there, but it all amounts to, you, it is legal to take the life of the child all the way up until birth, and a lot of people say, no, it's not. And even the partial birth abortion discussion, which is amazing, because it's this child, in the, in the sense of what people mean by viability, which is inconsistent, but this child is viable. But by definition, this child is being pulled through the birth canal and dismembered. There are something like a million people waiting to adopt. This woman will not have to be pregnant one more day. The child is being taken out of her. This is third trimester, partial birth abortion. This child could live, but this becomes the right to have a dead child. Not the right to no longer be pregnant is one issue. But this now is not only the right to no longer be pregnant, which you're no longer pregnant once the child's taken from you, but why couldn't that child be allowed to live? And a lot of the logic is because that child doesn't belong to an adoptive family, that child belongs to the person who's choosing to get to the, the abortion. But do we believe, belongs to, like, like legal ownership of not just this is my legal child, but I have the right to take the life of that legal child of mine. No, we don't. We, again, we don't recognize that. So infanticide and uh, abortion, logically, you, you, you have to move toward devaluing the life of a born child as a result of devalu devaluing the life of a preborn child. 